Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Um, I decided to do this quick tutorial um, on how to apply layered, and I'm sorry, a layered image onto a curved surface. Uh, I was going to apply it to this little water bottle here that I got from the Dollar Tree. Excuse my bad angle. It's just a old water bottle thermos looking thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. I've had it for like a thousand years. So I decided to use it for this tutorial because it is a curved surface. What I found out that works best for me, instead of trying to layer each image on the water bottle or whatever you're using individually, to layer them on that black base first, and then apply the whole image to the water bottle. Um, being that a lot of times when you try to do it any other way, you will get the air bubbles, which, I mean, you can pop them um, with a small needle or get them out with your heat gun or whatever. But uh, every time I've tried this method, it seemed to work for me. Um, so as you see here on my table, I've got all my different pieces of the image. Um, separated. I have a squeegee here. It's just my little silhouette squeegee that comes with the software. I've got some rubbing alcohol in this spray bottle and this is to spray my cup. Um, and you just want to do that to remove any types of oils from your fingers or any type of debris or anything that will keep the image from adhering to your cup so we're going to start first so i've got the black base down the first thing i am going to put down is this part of her shirt and i hope you all can see so i'm gonna take my squeegee and make sure that it's all stuck on there then i will peel it i'm sorry off of my vinyl I'll lay this down very carefully and I'm going to try to center it just right. The only thing about this method, I guess with any other method is once you get it down, that's it. So I lay the burgundy layer down on top of the black image, scrape it real good, remove my contact paper. And I already see now why I went up a little bit too far on the one end, but it's okay because it's down now and we just got to roll with it. So I'm taking the top part of her collar, make sure that squeegee down really good. Remove that. I guess I better stand up so I can see. And then try to line this up. I hope you guys can See what I'm doing. Okay. And then you're going to remove your contact paper. You see just then the whole image want to come up. That's not what I was planning to do. All right, so now we're going to layer on her face. Make sure I squeegee that all the way down. Peel the vinyl back. And try to place it. You see it's wanting to, oh, so the face is down. Now I got to try to get the rest of this. That did not go as planned. But the show must go on. So I'll put that on there. Peel this off so you see from my mistake her neck is kind of crooked a little bit, but it's not too bad. All right, now I'm gonna do her mouth. So I'll 
peel that off and place the lips on the image. She's got a bracelet and earrings right here. I hope you can see that. Well, here's the bracelet and the necklace, the earrings right here. So you push that down. Lift that up. Now we've got her eye. So I'll peel that part up. Place this down right about here. And this is the rest of her eye. And once I get everything down, I'm going to squeegee it real good. So then we've got this other part of her eye. Lay that down really good. Now we've got her earring. And that pretty much goes however you want it to go. So I'm going to try to get it right about here. All right. So we've got all that down. Uh, now I need to cut a piece of contact paper to kind of apply it to the cup. And this is just regular contact paper that you can get at Walmart. I've had this roll for like three years now. I think I paid $6.99 for it because the piece is all reusable. Uh, you can even get contact paper from the Dollar, pe uh, Dollar Tree. A lot of people use the um, Cricut contact paper. Um, it all works the same. It all does the same thing to me. Um, I just use whatever's on sale or whatever is cheap for me. A trick that I like to use to get my contact paper off, I take my little pick and help. To pull it off because sometimes it's just hard to get that contact paper so I'll place this down squeegee that real good and really you don't have to do that because it's basically almost a large sticker now um, and I'll show you you basically can probably pull the whole thing up so now I've got my cup right here. Let me move my light over so you can see a little bit more. All right, I've got my alcohol, so I'm gonna spray my cup a few times with the alcohol just to clean the surface. And as I stated earlier, remove any dirt or any oils or anything and just take me a paper towel and just give it a good wipe. Get everything off. Okay. So I'm going to lay that back down. Grab my image. Now it may or it may not want to come up. But you see how it's coming all up. One whole image. Alright. So I'm going to lay it down. Right in the middle. And what I find out on the curved surface, start smoothing from the middle first. And then work your way out to the ends. So there aren't any bubbles or there aren't many bubbles. Then you take your squeegee. Squeegee it down real good. And remove the contact paper. So, this is what we got. This is what it's looking like. Um, I hope you guys can see. Let me move the camera a little bit. So, this is it. This is her. Uh, like I said, this is the It's Me Girl. I bought this image from 
Megan Customs, if I'm not mistaken. It's an SVG, and this is an old Dollar Tree water bottle. And there you go. And you see there's not any bubbles. And to me, I just find it's easier to layer everything on that base image first and then transfer the whole image versus laying each piece down, especially on the curved surface. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And I plan on uploading another video soon. Thanks.